hello. Hello, hello. Good morning, Borida. Um, I am back. Farmer Ben has returned. There has been a brief, brief break in my uh, YouTube videos, mainly for phone problems, uh, sadly. Um, and my hay fever is kicking in, so this is going to be for, going to be fun. Uh, I thought I'd pop back, just do a quick video. Uh, the, today we're going to have a quick look at revenge rate. Uh, let's just have a quick look around my base. Uh, so I got my little wavy man. Hello, little wavy man. Uh, still not doing anything. I don't even understand what's the point of this bridge here. Well, I suppose it does link those two little bits, but it just seems such a such a random thing. Why would you put in a bridge like that? I mean, look at it. It's just over to the rocks and then back to the other side. Wouldn't it make more sense to put a bridge where this this big gateway here is at the bottom? Uh, I'm going to zoom in on the gateway with a waterfall. And where does the water actually come from to keep pouring down? I mean, you're so high up the mountain. It just there are a lot of things about this castle that just make no sense. Uh, it's like this little little you know, little walkway over here. Why, why put in all these crazy walkways? Why, why build a castle up here in the first place? I mean, just, I mean, it'd be a good defensive place, don't get me wrong. But, well, yeah, I suppose actually it's got its own water supply, although goodness knows only how the water gets there. I guess this is all kind of magic. Anyway, sorry, I've, I've totally gone off topic here. Um, now, uh, today's um, today's video is basically about, um, what do we call it? Revenge raids. Revenge. Re -re revenge. I will wreak my revenge. Ha, ha, ha. So we, we go into your watchtower. Uh, you'll see that you have various raids that come up which say revenge. Now, uh, I haven't done revenge raids before. I think when I talk to people about um, about how to do raiding, I, my general view is you look for somebody who's got more trophies than you so that you stand to come out on top overall that's always what i aim for um so i normally like uh, you can see i raided this chap here called pazdan um i lost 21 on my first raid because i didn't win but then i got, got 43 on my second one so overall i came out what, 22 trophies up which is what i was aiming for uh now everybody does it differently everybody has their own ways of doing things but i've always found that generally helps to keep me uh sort of higher end of the raiding charts and what have you um, but as I say, everyone's different. But the beauty of a revenge raid is that you can't be revenged on it. So uh, Pazdan may revenge me and take more trophies from me. So overall, I might end up slightly uh, lower down. I might end up losing more trophies than I win. Uh, Altieri Uzide has raided me and will pay, well, may pay the price. Uh, I've just been joined by Lucy. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I'm just going to try and sort this guy out now i tend to have two no sorry two raid teams which i just change two of the heroes or three of the heroes depending on the color so this is my uh green raid team my blue raid team and my purple raid team and i just change the two heroes that i've just changed so the only two i would change on this if i had needed a green team i would take thorn and Asania out and i put in two two greens to sort of balance it out give me a stronger green team I normally go with a raid team of three of one colour, one and one. So that is what I aim for. So I'm just going to hit apply. I'm going to hit attack. Now, it does mean I'm fairly reliant on a, a good screen, but I've also got a range of hero skills, and that's important too. Uh, excuse me. So the hero skills, I've got uh, Domitia, who is a sniper and debuffer. Uh, uh, what's her name? Liana, who is a sniper and debuffer. Who is a sniper, not a debuffer. Sorry, I need a debuffer there. Um, Thorn is just a general hitter, nice solid uh, general hitter. He's not very popular, and I do do get that. He doesn't offer very much. Uh, Isania, who is my weakener, she will knock everybody else's shields down when she goes off, if she ever gets to go off, because her mana is quite slow. And Kirill, who is my healer and booster, he makes my other heroes stronger. Uh, as you can see, this is one of the downsides when you go with three one one is you do have quite a risk if you just don't get the screens. And I'm just not getting any blue gems coming through. Uh, I may as well just sort of carry on. Oh, there we go. Finally got some blue gems. And that's enough to give me a one hero lead at this point. Um, now, I am still working mainly on get, getting blues onto the screen because blues are still my most powerful. I'm not too concerned at the moment with other heroes, but you can see I've taken out the tank and now I'm working my way sort of sideways. Uh, annoyingly, Rigard has... Uh, not Rigard... Um, What's his name? Richard, sorry, has managed to kill uh, one of my heroes. And I'm still just not having any great luck with uh, blues. Now, I'm going to fire a blue tile up the middle here, which will do me a bit of good. Um, let's see, she's not actually weakened, so I'm going to snap her off. Uh, a blue tile up the middle. These blue tiles up the middle mean they gain a lot more mana. Um, what do you reckon, Lucy? 
should press Kirill. Are you reckon I should press before Kirill? Before another hero dies. I think I think you're right. I should press Kirill before another hero dies. And I've just done it in time. So now Isania will go off. Now Isania will hopefully finish off uh, Richard. Now the most dangerous hero now left for me is um, this guy. I can't think of his name. Uh, the purple chap. What's his name? What's your name? I've forgotten. Quintus, Quintus, Quintus. So Quintus needs to be killed quickly. Uh, the reason is, if Quintus goes off, he does quite a lot of damage, even at this stage. And now, basically, this raid is won. There's, there's almost no way I can lose it. Um, it's now four of mine versus one of his, and his is only a healer, so I can just carry on. So by sort of methodically working my way across the screen, I've managed to take out one hero after another. And there we are. So finish that off. So there we are. So I've not gained a huge number of trophies, uh, 26 trophies, but it did mean that, you know, it, there's no way he can now revenge me. So that was a nice, uh, straightforward revenge. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, uh, I may have pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry. It's obviously uh, somebody from uh, Eastern Europe. Um, so this is what I talk about when I say I only edit two heroes. So because they have a blue tank, I'm going to remove Thorn and Asania. Uh, and I will replace them. Now, I'm quite fortunate in the heroes I have. I have built them up. I mean, there's no special five stars, but I've got quite a few. Uh, I will replace them with Elkanen and Cademon. So I now have three greens to hit their blue hero, uh, but maintain Domitia, who's my strongest hero, and Kirill, who is probably my best healer and booster. <laughs> Uh, you can use, you know, it doesn't matter who you use. Some people take a lot of healers, some people don't take any. There's no real, you know, the beauty of the game is there's lots of different ways of doing it. Um, but that's just, that's my personal uh, preference. So I'm going to want to start trying to hit um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Richard with some greens here. So, you know, a few greens going into Richard. It's not going to be enough to kill him and his... He will go off. Now, annoyingly, he weakens everyone, which is why he is quite a reasonable uh, sort of hero. So, Cademon's now weakened. And Cademon not being the like strongest one on my team anyway, uh, not going to be great. Nearly fully charged his mana there. That's the danger of uh, sort of combos which aren't going to do me any favours. Uh, I'm going to hope either that Richard hits the right I people. I would press Kirill I think. I think you're I right, Miller. I think Kirill would be a great time to press now. I think you're right. I think if I press Kirill now. So I've pressed Kirill. Uh, Kirill is going off. Now I'm hoping, uh, and it may be naive, because Richard, is his mana bar is basically empty and his health bar is basically empty. I'm not actually going to target him now. I'm just going to hope that the, one of these moves, the tiles will finish him off. Um, so that's why I threw that attack at, uh, what's his name? Uh, Oberkan. Because Oberkan was more ready now i didn't aim cademon at obercon i wanted to remove obercon special uh which is now done because it is a repost and repost would obviously then throw the damage back at me so let's get rid of that and now i've cleared that whole side of the screen because this will kill off domitia and again now this is looking pretty much like i will win this uh i'm gonna get rid of the yellows now because both of them have got their mana bars basically full so there's no the Rigard will almost certainly do, undo the hit. There we are. Rigard will heal himself, get himself back to full health. Uh, I'm going to fire off some tiles on this side of the screen because I get more mana when my tiles don't hit anyone. So this should charge all my green heroes. There we are. They're all charged. Pre I oh. would press Kirill now. Yeah, I reckon you're right. He yep. just lost the hit. I, I did lose it here. He was um, he um, he could have died very soon. He could, he could. So that's why we press Kirill. Absolutely, my love. Yeah, we want Kirill to go off and keep everyone else alive. Very important. Very important, that. Uh, mm -hmm. And now, hopefully, Domitia will either finish off um, Bruce Lee or the others will finish off Bruce Lee. I know he's not called Bruce Lee, but... He is actually, let's be honest. Uh, and there we go. So there we are. So that was another nice little win. Um, again, straightforward, just working my way uh, to take out the tank and then work your way left to right, clear some space, and you can then get rid of some of the tiles into the space you have. Uh, this is Ares I'm up against now. Now, Ares is uh, a bit of an unusual one. With Ares, I would not take quite the normal team. I normally take an extra D buffer. Uh, so I've taken Sonia instead of Thorn. It does mean that I've, my team power is lower, but I've got two debuffers now because Ares will, um, without debuff, if you can debuff him, Ares is basically not worth having. Uh, he's basically a waste of a hero. Doesn't always work. Uh, I'm going to need to get enough tiles to actually do it. But let's see what I'm going I'm to do this. I'm going to start a small combo here. Always worth trying to start a combo if you don't know what else to do because it just increases the tile damage a bit and sometimes you just get lucky. Not always, but sometimes. Uh, I'm going to do this. This will trigger a little combo, hopefully taking out Ares. There we go. 
Ares is gone. Enough tiles have hit him. Next most dangerous hero, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, this one here, who is Zeline. I couldn't remember her name for a second. Uh, Zeline does, uh, weakens all my attacks, and she's got quite quick mana, so she's one I don't like very much. So I would rather that she is dead uh, as soon as possible. Uh, now, this should happen now, because what I will do is I'll do my booster first. So Kirill will now make everyone stronger. Then Asania goes off. And at Sarnia, you will see the little shield down icon appears on all of my enemies. So they are, they're all now weaker. Sonia, even though she's not the most powerful of heroes, will then finish off Zeline. As I say, she's a very useful debuffer, and a debuffer is, is uh, worth taking when you're up against a hero like uh, Ares, because his special skill uh, is, is really powerful. But if you can remove it using the debuff, he just becomes useless. He he's actually then becomes... Uh, more of a liability on your enemy team and that's the beauty of debuffers you can turn some of the more dangerous heroes you can turn them into uh, just a sort of extra extra target really it reduces effectively taking Ares out of the equation um, reduces the enemy team power by well I don't know uh, whatever Ares is worth 800 or something like that so it gives me a much better uh, much better power ratio over them now I'm still not guaranteed to win this one here um, this is sort of it's going all right. I could do with uh, um, healing. I could do with healing. You're right, my love. Um, I just I haven't got the blues lined up at the moment to do the healing, which is what I could do with. Um, we kind well, of. We did lose the hero, which is a big shame. I yeah. I just it's, lost Sonia. It's four one. It is. It is four against one. It should. I should be okay. But the Guardian Panther, this 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 one's called Guardian Panther. He could be quite dangerous. Oh, it's lucky that he's hit uh, the one hero who's on his own because that actually gives me a bit of a a better chance of keeping mine alive. Um, I really want to get. I don't know if this will be enough to finish him off. I really don't want his special skill going off because he might actually kill all of them in one go. Uh, luckily though, he is done now. So there we go. Revive there is it's really annoying. Actually, the best revivers are the ones who are healers because sometimes they revive and then heal themselves, and then everybody you like back to square one. So you've lost out. So there we are, another uh, another successful raid. Uh, next next person to revenge here is Surge seven three two zero. Um, he has got uh, a gear who is one of the I I don't like a gear. Uh, sorry, I don't like fighting a gear very much. He's a very uh, good hero as always with any special five stars. I don't have him. Uh, anybody who's ever followed my videos will know I've never summoned a five star. Not that I'm bitter about it. I don't even like to mention it. Do I, Lucy? No, no. he did not. He didn't. No, I don't like to mention it. Um, it does occasionally come up, but it's it's never me brings it up. That's the thing. Uh, so we are going. There we go. So a gear uh, again is trying to hit him with the colours. You can see the extra damage done by hitting him with the right colour is quite handy. Uh, I don't know if he's going to die before his special skill goes off which is a shame. It's always worth trying to get rid of him uh, before his special goes off, but you can't always you can't always control these things. Hopefully now my next move will get the greens ready. It probably won't kill Aegir because his damage is all spread out, uh, but I can then debuff him. There we go, debuff's done. Hopefully by hitting um, Vivica, this will get rid of a gear as well because it hits the people either side of him. There we go. So think about whether your heroes hit one or three or five. As I know, he hits. Uh, as I know, sorry, uh, Elkin and there in the middle hits five. Hits three. Sorry, I can target uh, either side of the hero I'm actually trying to hit. Oh, don't want to get rid of that. Not quite yet. Anyway, there we go. And Vivica, boom! Oh, my special power goes up, which is good. Uh, so Kirill's now made everybody a bit stronger. I'm still struggling. I'm struggling now to see him move. What do you reckon, lovely? Should I go with that? Go with that. There we go. Mm, oh, Vivica's gone off, which is is annoying. Not at the end of the world at this point in the raid, but it is annoying. Um, it means I'm sort of then have to redo all the damage I've done against her. Really, the biggest danger in this raid was Aegir, and Aegir being dead. I'm feeling reasonably optimistic. Uh, let's see, this should finish Vivica off. I will then fire these greens down the middle. Now, to me, they've made a bit of a mistake and they've taken a tank and a hero of the same colour. Uh, I tend to say take the tank. You don't really want two heroes of that colour um, because that meant my green attacks were all very strong against Richard up there in the corner. But sometimes you just haven't got a choice or whatever, so it's not always as easy as you'd like it 
B. I hope this is all making some kind of sense. Um, it, it's sort of sort of talking and going at the same time. Uh, I hope that people are sort of following what I'm saying here. It's it's not. Um, sometimes it's easier to to forget. You start talking in in jargon. You know, you learn empires and puzzles terms like ghosting which is firing tiles into a space where there isn't any, any any enemy because that way you get rid of tiles or you get more mana for the tiles you're using um it's one of those things it's a term i use all the time and i forget that you know if you aren't really sort of au fait with the terms on the game then it can cause all manner of uh, confusion but there we go so there we are so i ghosted those green tiles you see and that means i get tons of mana for them and that means bomb 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 there we go lucy I'm good yeah she's nodding nodding on the radio there we go so that was serg and then the last one we're going to find is grasny gary grasny gary uh because this is the end of my um my world energy for uh, my uh, hero raid energy uh, i'm not going to use a flask or anything like that i just wanted to show you sort of four or five you'll see uh, you'll see again what i meant about i only changed two or three heroes uh domitia liana and kirill have been in every raid i've done so far uh, I do have another team, which is this team. Uh, this is my ye yellow and red team. If I'm fighting a purple uh, center, purple tank, I use this team. Uh, if I'm fighting a green tank, I swap uh, Wukong, Leonidas, and June for three reds. Uh, Domitia and Kirill are in every raid I ever do, uh, pretty much. Um, I've never found a situation where neither of them have their value. Uh, so here we go. Um, fingers crossed this could be five in a row. Who knows? It, it's hard to say. Uh, sometimes it all comes together, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, not not an awesome screen, but not hideous one either. Uh, this should get in the green. Um, the technique called a shard of power, apparently. The green gems. Uh, so I can fire off this shard of power. That will get Leona ready. Uh, Leona then can be used to finish off. Let's see, I think I'm going to go this way. Work my way this way across the screen. Leona can get rid of, uh, or at least, sorry, not get rid of, but significantly weaken, uh, what's her name? Um, oh, really have a bad memory for names today. Sartana. So Sartana now not looking so good. Ooh, still hanging on. She's she's tough. You've got to give her that. She's tough. Um, I will take her out, hopefully, uh, by doing Tibertus here, because Tibertus is not a hit either side hero. I don't target Sartana because I want most of the damage to go on to Gregorian, who is now dead. And I fire these tiles up the center again, ghost them away, get a bit more extra uh, power. Um, plenty of power whizzing down the screen there. There's no need. Uh, you can, is, if you're sort of selective with who you target, you can definitely sort of max out your, uh, get the maximum damage uh, for each of your, hit, your hits. And on the sort of higher echelon raids, when it's close and your team powers are similar, that's really an important thing to try and do. Um, I strongly recommend it. Ooh, and Perfect Repost. I was about to do something there, and Perfect Repost finished him off for me. So the beauty of Perfect Repost there uh, from Ubercar. So there we are. Anyway, so that was it. Five raids in a row, five wins. Um, I'm not sure how many, let's see how many trophies that gained me. So uh, my, men, my mental arithmetic here is, uh, let's see, 26 of 38, 64, 84, and another nine is uh 93 93 at 8 is 101 121 100 and 144 trophies i gained from those five raids uh, and i can't lose any of them because i cannot be revenged so that is the beauty of doing it that way 144 trophies and nobody can steal them back from me uh, i may obviously lose them to somebody else raiding me but the people i've hit cannot revenge me uh, and that is that so i hope there was something in there that was a little bit helpful for people um i did sort of try and talk through what i was doing the whole time which hopefully has been some help uh, i apologize if it didn't really help anyone um it's it may be a bit waffly if you want any explanations of any of those terms or what i've done uh please just let me know and i will do my best to uh, to sort of clarify anything um sometimes as i say you do get a bit hooked on the jargon and forget that it's not uh, it's not actually proper English. Anyway, so peace out. I'm just going to shoot some birds. Die, birds, die. Oh, there's the dragon. Look, there goes the dragon. Can you see the dragon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there he is flying across the screen. Don't see the... Well, you do see the dragon quite a lot. Just forget to look out for it. Anyway, there we go. So that's it. Say goodbye, Lucy. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, may death come swiftly to your enemies. Peace out. <laughs>